All right. I greet everyone right now listening in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Today I have a very interesting topic that we are going to talk about. I believe that you guys are going to enjoy this. Um, it's about true and false conversion. How do you know that you are truly converted or not? Now, there's a difference between converting and repenting. Now, Jesus talks about true and false conversion a lot in the Gospels. In Matthew 13, 36-43, he talks about the wheat and the tear. In the same chapter, verse 47 to 50, he talks about the good fish and bad fish. In Matthew 7, 13 and 14, he talks about the narrow gate and the wide gate. And you have two kind of people between the narrow gates, the one that goes into the narrow gates and the one that goes into the wide gates. And also in Matthew 7, verse 15 to 20, he talks about the good fruit and good trees. And he talks about the bad fruit and bad trees. In Luke 19, verse 11, he talks about the productive servant and the worthless servant. In Matthew 7, 24 and verse 227 he talks about the solid rock versus the second sand in Matthew 25 verse 1 to 13 he talks about the wise bridemaids and the foolish bridemaids Matthew 13 verse 18 to 23 he talks about good soil and bad soil Matthew 7 21 and to 23 he talks about the true Christians versus false Christians. And in Revelation 3, 14 to 22, he talks about lukewarm, hot or cold. So all these things that I have mentioned, it's either you are saved or you are not. It's either you are a Christian or you are not. It's either you are a servant of God or you are not. So there's no such thing as in between. It's either you are converted or you are not. Now, how do you know that you are lukewarm, hot, or cold? So that's what we're going to talk about and I'm going to give you the difference between them. Stay tuned. So here is the ultimate questions. Jesus said in Revelation 3 verse 15, he said, I know thy works, that thou art neither cold nor hot. I would thou were cold or hot. So then because thou art lukewarm and neither cold nor hot, I will spew thee out of my mouth. So here's the ultimate question. So what are you? Are you hot or are you cold? Now you need to examine your life right now as you listen into this. Because when Jesus mentioned lukewarm Christians, what is a lukewarm Christian? You see, a lukewarm Christian, they think they are saved. They talk like they are saved. They look like they are saved. But they are false converts. But they think that they are saved. But they are unsaved. That's what a lukewarm is. So lukewarm... It's in between hot and cold. So somebody who is hot for Jesus is somebody who is zealous. But somebody who is cold, cold, which means it's it's an absent of heat. There is no such thing as cold, but cold is an absent of heat. So if the person has no heat in their lives, that's when they are not safe. But somebody who is lukewarm is somebody who's in between. So they have a little bit of hot and they have a little bit of cold. So in other words, they are double-minded. So these persons 
other one that's causing the name of the Lord to be blasphemed. So if they were not saved, they were cold, then Jesus could save them and make them become hot. But because they are lukewarm, they bring confusion. So lukewarm people have a head knowledge about the Lord Jesus Christ. They know how to stand, when to shout, when to say hallelujah, when to say praise the Lord, when to open up the Bible, and, and, and they can't even quote scriptures, but they are unsaved. When you say save, what does it mean when you say that somebody is saved? What are we saved from? That's how you have to always remember. In Matthew 1 21, it says, he shall save his people from their sin. So you are actually saved from something. Are you saved from filthiness? Are you saved from fornication? Are you saved from pride? Are you saved from greed? From unforgiveness? From lying? From cursing? Are you saved from this world? Do you still love the world? Because the Bible says that love not the world, neither the, neither the things that are in the world. For the things that are in the world are a loss of the flesh and the pride of life. That is not of the Father, but is of the world. Do you still love the world? You are not saved because you made a decision. You are saved from something. From your old man from your old being so you are not the same person anymore so a lukewarm Christian they are uns they are an unsaved person who thinks that they are saved in Roman chapter 8 verse 6 says that they are carnal fleshy they operate in the flesh but they have a form of godliness they are not sold that for Jesus Christ as Jesus commands us in Mark 12 verse 30 to 31 you shall love me whosoever shall love he said you shall love me with all your heart in fact let's go to the book of Mark chapter 12 real quick It says, Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, with all thy soul, and with all thy mind, and with all thy strength. And this is the first commandment. And the second is like unto it, Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. And in Matthew chapter 10, verse 37 and 39 to 39, it says, He who shall love his mother, his father, his mother, his brother, more than the Lord. If you love your family, your brother your sisters more than the lord what does he say about you he said he that find his life and he said he that love his father and mother more than me is not worthy of me so those people who are lukewarm jesus is not their final authority they are not sold out for jesus see they compromise with the world in Romans 12, 2, it says, do not conform. So they conform with the world. So they watch the games of the world, the football of the world, the soccer of the world. They are all interested in all those things. So they have no time. They do not obey the Lord's commands. If you go to 1 John chapter 2, verse 3 and 6, it's right before the book of Revelation. 1 John chapter 2 says, Verse 3 says, In help hereby we know that we know him if we keep his commandments. He that say I know him and keep not his commandments is a liar and the truth is not in him. You see, those people who are lukewarm, they are apostate. See, they are willfully remain in sin, even though that they hear the word of God every day, they never change. They swear not to change. So Jesus says in Matthew. 7 verse 13 to 14 only a few will find the way of eternal life so how do you know that you are truly born again so lukewarm means you are a water sitting 
out for a week gathering fungus so you are stagnant unproductive and there's no life in you if you look in the book of galatian chapter 5 right before the bible mentioned the fruit of the spirit it says now the works of the flesh are manifest which are these adultery fornication uncleanness lasciviousness idolatry witchcraft hatred variance emulations wrath strife seditions heresies envying murders drunkenness reviling and such like of the which i tell you before as i have also told you in these time past that they which do such things shall not inherit the kingdom of god so those people who are lukewarm they are like fungus they are a a place for bacteria for fungus so the bacteria and fungus they are sin in their lives because they are walking in the flesh and not in the spirit so if you want the true hot water you want to be like like the way the lord jesus wants you to be zealous you can go to the book of john chapter 4 when jesus was speaking to the samaritan woman he said i am living water see that's the opposite of dead water he said i am the living water so jesus can fulfill you to make you become not lukewarm but to make you become hot because hot is good lukewarm is in between and cold is dead so woman 10 17 say faith comes by hearing by hearing of the word of god so in order for you to be hot for jesus you have to be connected with jesus so the hearing of your faith will determine what is your temperature with the lord jesus christ hot or cold those people who are hot for jesus when they hear the word from the lord they quickly submit themselves to obey it but the lukewarm always want to be disobedient and rebellious against god's word what do you do with the word of god when you hear it that would tell you if you are a lukewarm christian or if you are a hot one and zealous for the lord because you know why i say that because jesus said my sheep will obey my voice and another place that jesus says in john he was talking to the pharisees he said why cannot you understand my word after you hear it he said because you are not of god those who are from god listen to the word of god so the hearing of your faith will determine what kind of temperature are you hot cold or lukewarm in the lord jesus christ and i want you to remember this when jesus said he will spew you out of his mouth that is a warning because no lukewarm christians are in heaven so to be lukewarm is not a good thing to be carnally minded to walk in the flesh is not a good thing that's mean you are in church if you are being lukewarm you listen to the word of god you hear the word of god and you never repent you never take your life seriously in the lord to follow after the lord you play in church you have one foot in and one foot out your destination is hell that is a warning to you may god bless you may god keep you if you like this message you can like it or you don't or you can leave me a comment in the bottom god bless